Let me begin by stating that the welfare of Army's people is always foremost in my mind. To set the scene, over 26,000 people served in Afghanistan on Operation Slipper. And extraordinary things were achieved by many through their service and sacrifice during Australia's longest operation. Last Thursday, the CDF briefed the findings of the IJADF Afghanistan Inquiry Report, which focused on events between 2005 and 2016. As part of the inquiry, 423 witnesses were interviewed. The CDF accepted all the recommendations of the report and Defence is now developing a comprehensive implementation plan. On the same day CDF delivered the findings, I was in Perth and I briefed the SAS Regiment on the report. Commander Special Operations Command did the same in Sydney at the Special Operations Forces units. In my remarks to the SAS, I said that I would take action in accordance with the report's recommendations. There are two processes in relation to this that I would like to explain. One is a referral to the Office of the Special Investigator, which the CDF is now considering. Secondly, what I can do within my authorities as the Chief of the Army to uphold Army's values and professional standards. People are aware that this is the process, and that this process is underway. Administrative action is a long-standing, well-established process within defence that ensures the rights of individuals to due process and fair hearing. This process is well known to all in Army. At this time, 13 individuals have been issued administrative action notices in relation to the Afghanistan inquiry. At this point in time, no individuals have been separated from the Australian Defence Force. Administrative action includes receiving a notice proposing to terminate the individual service. The individual then has the opportunity to respond within a minimum of 14 days. The decision maker must consider any written response that the individuals provide before making a decision. Each matter and individual circumstance will be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. It is essential that privacy be respected and that procedural fairness is followed and that no further comment be made until the process is complete. It is critical that for any judicial, disciplinary or administrative action, due procedural process must occur. I want to stress the importance of acknowledging and respecting the privacy of individuals and enabling due process to take its course. Legal, welfare and command support is provided to anyone who is subject to administrative action. This whole process will take time and we will do this work methodically, deliberately and in accordance with established process. Again, I reiterate my confidence in the Australian Army. We are all committed to learning from the inquiry and emerging from this a stronger, more capable and effective army. Thank you. I'll now take one or two questions. Um, all 13 of the people who've been issued notices have been given those notices for all 13 include a proposed, proposing to terminate their service. And are you able to shed any light on whether those 13 are um, the same or separate to the 19 individuals um, that the report suggested be referred to the Office of Special Investigator? I won't comment on individuals or individual cases. We must follow a very fair and well established process. Uh, as we go through this in a very deliberate way. So. Chief Lieutenant General. Separate, separate I know, um, but we have seen um, generals in Japan hanged for war crimes that they had no knowledge of. Can you tell me why you should have resigned? Uh, there is a process to be followed here. Uh, we've received the inquiry one week ago. Uh, we need to follow a very deliberate, very methodical and very fair process. 
uh, ensuring that uh, we respect every individual's privacy and right of reply. Uh, this will take time. It took four and a half years to work through this report. It was delivered one week ago uh, and we are now working through it. Are there any commanders caught up in this? I won't comment on any individuals or individual cases. There is a process to be followed here as we work through this. We must ensure the privacy of all individuals. Uh, we are all holding ourselves to account as an organisation and we will work through this in a proper way. That's why we asked for the report. Lieutenant General, there's been significant backlash to the idea that around 3,000 Special Forces soldiers would have their meritorious unit citation stripped. Do you think it's fair that they all have it removed for the actions? And if that's the case in terms of collective responsibility, shouldn't Angus Campbell's um, Distinguished Service Cross be removed given he commanded this um, operation? I support the logic of the recommendation in the report which says that if we knew then what we know now, uh, the unit would not have received or been put forward for a meritorious unit citation. Uh, there is now a process to be followed as we consider all of those recommendations for individual and collective awards, and we will follow that process in a proper and fair meth uh, methodology and make sure that everyone's privacy is respected. But is it fair to paint 3,000 men with you, sir, the same brushes? So much good work was done by so many people in Afghanistan and that is absolutely uh, not forgotten on me uh, or anyone who has served there. Uh, we are all committed to making sure that that legacy is uh, understood, uh, is preserved and we honour the sacrifice of so many and their commitment of so many over a sustained period of time. I acknowledge their service, uh, the support of their families. Uh, through this process, I acknowledge the fallen uh, and pay my respects absolutely to those families. Uh, we will not forget them and we will honour their legacy. Uh, that's all I have. I'll take one more question and then I'll leave. Thank you. The Commander did describe this recommendation as a knee jerk reaction and it being disgusting and un Australian. What's your reaction to that? Uh, it took four and a half years to get this report. It's comprehensive. We're working through all of the recommendations in a, a methodical way. Uh, I'm taking action uh, within uh, my authorities as the Chief of Army uh, against some individuals uh, and that's uh, all I'll say on that matter. So thank you. That's all. Thank you very much.